Okay, another Ocado grocery haul for this week. I spent a little over £70. Didn't need a massive amount. Most of my meals are in the freezer. I'll show you my meal plan after. It's quite a basic week, I would say. Just trying to use up some freezer stuff. So, yeah. Two garlic baguettes. Um, one's going to go in the freezer and one we're going to use for the week. I'm going to do a bolognese. Um, I haven't done it in ages and just really fancied it. Standard apples, two lots of bananas, because we just go through them. And then my standard spinach that I've been getting every week that I use for eggy wraps and breakfast, anything really, even smoothies. But yeah, and just throwing into different meals. I usually throw a lot of spinach into my bolognese. And then I've got one just head of broccoli, um, some green beans as just something different, you know, as a big family pack. And then the sliced kale. Again, these are just great uh, for sides or just throwing into different things like curries and meals. Uh, side potatoes, I'm going to do some roasties for tonight. Baby potatoes, uh, I'm going to do some wedges with those. And then I got two for two pounds on the passion fruits. Haven't had these in a long time and um, Violet loves them as well. So I thought throwing that on like some sort of yogurt um, or just scooping it out, it's just delicious. Um, carrots, we've got two lots of milk. I feel like we just, I'm always topping up my milk during the week and these have quite a good um, date on them, the 24th. So yeah, that should last us pretty well. Um, some a whole British tasty roast in the bag chicken. Uh, this is going to be for a roast tonight. We haven't had roast chicken in ages because Graham has, when I've been working on Sunday, Graham's been doing like a roast beef or a roast pork. Really fancy roast chicken, so we're going to have that. I've got honey roast sandwich ham and then some wafer thin ham. These are for lunches and also I'll probably use one as a topping for pizza at the end of the week. Some um, Edam sliced cheese. I will throw this into like an eggy wrap or uh, a lunch, like bagel, sliced bagel with chicken. Or with the kids, I'll do a slice of ham, a slice of cheese. They love that with a bagel. Um, this is a random one, but I wanted to get these because they're on offer. Uh, the salted caramel and chocolate little pots. So these are obviously plant-based, um, kind of on offer. So I wanted to just try it and there's four of them and see what Graham thinks as well. So I've got those. So then I've got some of the straight cut chips. I got these last week. I still have kind of like half a bag-ish left. They're really good chips actually, really nice. Not too thick. They go crispy really nicely. And then I got some edamame, um, actually in their pods. Oh, I used to buy these all the time. They are really good snack, but mainly I use them as a side. Um, really quick and delicious. Everybody likes them. They love popping them, you know, as well. I got a pack of the Little Moons that were on offer. So these I've been kind of eyeing up. I tried the peach and, no, the passion fruit and mango ones from Costco, if you would have saw my previous haul. Absolutely delicious. Um, these are half off at the moment, so £2.50. So I thought I would try the coconut ones. Me and Violet will probably be the only ones that like them, but I'm going to try them with the other boys as well. We'll see. Um, some aero mousses for the boys, and then I thought I'd get them bit of a, a switch up these little layered ones as well chocolate trifles mozzarella pizza hummus fancied hummus this week and then i got my standard yogurts i got two of the blueberry and vanilla and two of the lemon cheesecake my current favorite flavors and basically the only ones i can really get on a cardo they occasionally have the raspberry ones but i prefer the blueberry over the raspberry um, two lots of the fruits, and then I got some pippin nut maple peanut butter. Again, I've had this before. I love the fact they've changed to glass packaging because it used to be plastic. Um, it was on offer and it's crunchy and I really fancy it. it. Just sounds so so good. I've only got smooth peanut butter in at the moment. I really fancy it and crunchy. And then I also got the Mr. Organic Healthier Choice Bolognese. This was no, this was on offer, so that's why I got it. Uh, for a bolognese, I probably add an extra tin of tomatoes to that because it's just obviously it's not a massive jar, and just throw in extras, like mushrooms and spinach. Um, I got again two lots of the plenish oat milk. This is still on offer for one pound thirteen pence. So I thought while it's such a good deal, I might as well just keep using it. It's absolutely fine for my coffee and if I have like a muesli or cereal or something in the morning porridge. 
but it's not my favourite because it's not as creamy as all the rest that I've tried before. It's definitely on par with like an Aldi oat milk, so it's quite watery, I would say quite thin, um, but it's still really, really nice. Um, I got two of the red lentil fusilli. I really wanted to try this because, again, it was half off. Um, extremely expensive for the price. It's such a small box, I didn't realise. So I got two boxes anyway, um, because we'd probably need pretty much both for the whole family. But um, yeah, it's a red lentil fusilli, and I wanted to try it. They have a lot of this stuff sometimes in Audi in their sort of special buys. But I'm going to try it. See what, see what the kids think. Uh, chocolate chip brioche, and then I got some brioche burger buns because we're going to have burgers this week. Um, this was my only sub. One thing I have to say about avocado is that I never really have subs, and I love it. Um, this was literally my only sub, and I'm not disappointed about it because actually I usually get the best of both medium slice. And to be fair, it's really, really thin. Like, the kids always say, God, this is such thin toast, and it is. So actually, this the thick white looks just perfect. So um, yeah, and then I got some baking paper because I needed some, I've run out. And then I got the golden blonde chocolate and salted caramel hot cross buns. These have milk chocolate and salted caramel fudge and toffee pieces. We absolutely loved the double chocolate ones last week. Oh my God, I had one for breakfast. I mean, this pack isn't big enough really, but it's enough for the one week, you know, me and Graham demolished those quickly within the first two days. Everyone recommended these ones, so I'm excited to see what these ones are like. Um, two lots of the penguin bars, because they are actually on offer at the moment. I think they're a pound a pack, which is pretty good for penguins. Um, and then I got some of the fruit oat crew bars. Again, these actually, Miles still has, I think, two left from last week. He really liked those, and they are really, really good ingredients. And actually, it's really hard to find something that he likes without it being really bad. You know, having like older siblings... It's quite hard because he just wants, he wants all the chocolate bars and all the bad stuff. And, um, you know, he still is only just turning two and a half. So anyway, I got some Oreos again for lunch boxes. These are like the little thin ones as just something different. And then some mango yo-yo bears. Miles has really gone off these. So I tend to use these for Violet as a snack. She has a snack at 10 a.m. at school. And then I got my favorite. Deliciously Ella salted caramel cups. I was so tempted to go off the bandwagon, go for the the Pip and Nut, have their own um, branded similar ones to these, but they're kind of like chocolate cups with like an almond butter or peanut butter inside. I don't like them as much. These are just the summy. I don't know if it's something about the sort of the cup itself. It's just super soft and dreamy. So these are still on offer for a pound each. So I got those. I got some more popcorn, not my favourite brand, but again, they were on offer, so it's just popcorn at the end of the day, um, and I, it's, it's just a really nice snack for me, the kids love it also in the evening. And then lastly, we've got the standard baked cheese and onion, these are Violet's favourite, I have to hide them, because, so no one else eats them, because she loves the baked version, she will eat, like, a couple from here, but these are her number one, and then Alistair is loves these so yeah they're still on offer as well i think a two pound 13 for a pack of 12 and then one pound 25 i think for the oven baked so yeah that is my Ocado grocery haul for this week i feel so organized because i i feel like i did this meal plan like midweek i never do that and it just felt good to actually be a little more organized with my meal plans and i was like raiding my freezer seeing what i had so tomorrow is a Monday. I randomly had a Sunday delivery, but because I wasn't working, I thought, why not? Instead of having the rush of the morning school run and a food delivery, it's actually quite nice still on a weekend. A bit more calmer. Um, so tomorrow we're going to have lamb burgers. I'm using the Simply Cook recipe. They're, it's kind of like an Indian spiced. It's delicious. We've had it a couple of weeks ago. It's got Bombay potatoes. I cut up the potatoes and wedges, using those brioche buns as well. It's delicious. Those burgers are incredible. It's just the seasoning just makes it to the average sort of lamb burger. So we're going to have lamb burgers. I've already got all the mints, obviously, from the farm. And then Tuesday, I've got some pies in the freezer. So I'm going to do pie, chips and veg 
or pie and mash and veg, something like that. They're only little pies. I think I got them from Morrison's again a few weeks ago, but I just want to use them up. I might get them actually and show you. They're nothing fancy. I mean, these ones are the four steak pies. So me and Graham will have one each. I think actually Alistair will probably have a steak pie. He loves steak. Um, but I'll ask the kids what they actually want. And then we've got the chicken and bacon pies. So again, they're nothing fancy. They're not a massive, like when we have like the mud pies, um, these like handmade, like luscious, deep filled pastry pies. They're like big, hardly ever want like extra mash or anything with it. Just usually pile on loads of veg, but because these are so much smaller, I mean, there's four in that box. Um, yeah, I always do an extra thing, extra side. So Wednesday I'm gonna do uh, Maki, Mahaki curry. I'm sorry if I completely ruined that, but again, that's a simply cook recipe. It's delicious. I have chicken in my freezer. Um, this is the one when you kind of pop it in the oven in the marinade first for like 15 minutes, and then you add it to like the passata and the spices. So good. It's again a mild curry. The kids love it. It's really saucy. Completely right. Reminds me of a tikka. And Graham's favourite is a tikka. So we've got that with rice. Um, again, I just throw in extra spinach. I may do a side of green beans. Um, and then on Thursday, I'm going to do a turkey bolognese. I know, quite controversial. But <laughs> I've got turkey mince that I got 75% off in Aldi. And I keep, I mean, I'm thinking, what am I going to do with it? Should I do burgers? And I thought, actually, I don't think, I think burgers would just dry out too quickly. Turkey is just one of those meats that just dries out. Um, so I'm going to do a bolognese with it and I think the kids will actually really like it. I'm going to use that sauce, again, throw those veggies in it and have, I've got my spaghetti. I have the one from Lidl, I'll show you that. Linguini. If you can get hold of this from Lidl, do it because it is absolutely delicious. Maybe how do you do it? I need to look. But it's the bronze di pasta linguini. I don't know, it's just... So yummy. Mm. So we're gonna have that with the garlic bread. I don't, haven't done that in a long time with garlic bread, but I saw it on the card and I was like, oh, pop that in my basket. And then Friday I'm gonna do homemade pizza. The kids are gonna obviously just crack on top it. Um, I've got a pizza dough recipe, I've got loads of, I always have like all stocked up with the bread flour and everything just to make it. And I think I'm off Friday. So um, Friday will be the day where I make it. And then the kids just actually top it. It's a quick, it's a really quick dinner. I might do a couple of little sides with it. But yeah, Saturday, Sunday, standard. We always have a take on Saturday and then Sunday. We'll see whatever. Might might have a roast, might not. But um, yeah, that is pretty much meal plan for the week and my cardio delivery. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're well. And um, yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Again, I'll try and leave the recipe my pizza dough recipe and i'll try and leave my simply cook a lot of people have used that last week actually so i'm not sure if there's any more free boxes going but there was some free boxes for, new for this month but anyway have a good weekend or week and i will see you all very very soon